This is Beer Bottle Bronze, a 1972 Chevy pickup that I built for Ben Kohler, the owner and operator of Engineered Vintage. The truck has a history with the Kohler family. It was actually even bought by his granddad brand new. But from day one, it was worked hard right off the Oregon coast at the family rock quarry its entire life and was kind of parked and left to die. Well, Ben ended up getting it from the rest of his family and he brought it to me to restore. But there really wasn't much left. We ended up using only the frame from his granddad's original truck. Even the engine and other bits of the drivetrain were locked up from sitting in that coastal saltic air for so many years. Luckily though, Ben sourced a great donor for the build, a K30 four-wheel drive Chevy pickup that had a Dana 60 front, 14 bolt rear, turbo 400, and 205 that was all perfect for what he wanted in this truck. But the donor trucks didn't stop there. We needed a body more than anything else. So we sourced a decent 1972 C20 medium bronze Chevy pickup. Same year, same color as the truck he dropped off. Now, we did this so we could simulate it being the same truck, that beer bottle bronze nicknamed workhorse that was put to use by the Kohler family for all those years. This donor cab wasn't perfect either. It needed the usuals, outer rockers, cab corner on one side, I think I did, inner rockers, little floor sections and whatnot, but it was light years better than the K10 cab he dropped off. Still to this day, that is the rustiest cab I've ever seen, and I've seen thousands of these year Chevy trucks. That coastal rust is just something else. We kept as much of the original GM paint as possible, that old medium bronze, and blended in the lowers in the areas that have been repaired. We wanted this thing to look like an old worn leather jacket and, you know, keep that patina, per se. And it also fit the budget of this build. Now, Ben threw a little bit of a curveball to us, but it's what really made this truck so unique and cool in the end. He sourced another, let's just say half of a donor truck, that had a really cool stepside eight-foot utility bed. So this is a stepside bed. You guys are going to start seeing some pictures of here soon enough. That has Koenig side pack utility boxes on it. We ended up reusing the original 402 from the donor C20 in the build. It ran great, had great compression, didn't smoke, tons of power. Honestly, it was kind of a no-brainer. And it just goes to show how useful a parts truck can be during a budget build. I rebuilt and resealed the round pattern 205 from the donor K30 that you just saw in the last couple pictures. So this picture here is when we got the cab on the four-wheel drive frame for the very first time. Cool shot there showing the ORD crossover and high steer on that Dana 60 front axle. The biggest hurdle on this truck was easily the custom utility bed. When we got in place in the four-wheel drive chassis for the first time, it looked cool, but it just wasn't quite right. Something looked off. It looked out of place. And what the major reason for that was, was the incorrect looking rear wheel arch. So that's where Reggie stepped in. And he made, as you see here, a factory appearing rear wheel arch that we added to the side pack utility fenders that simulates the look of a factory, you know, rear bed wheel arch as that on a step side or fleet side bed or just of that of the front fender of the truck. We wanted this to look factory like we hadn't been here by the time we were all said and done. We also added rear side markers into the rearmost utility doors to help us also try and achieve that factory look. As you see here, a custom little filler neck made up that ran down into the Boyd's welding tank between the rear frame rails. Uh, at this point, the bed is off back at Devin's body shop for paint, and we had a big push for Dino's. We uh, got this truck done, and we took it down there. It's a blast. Um, I had a really good time with Ben showing this truck off and all our work and whatnot. And I couldn't have got there to the very end without Devin and Reggie and their help. Some great friends of mine, and I'm very lucky to have them by my side. 
So when it was all said and done, you know, this thing turned out to be a pretty nice little driver. You know, it doesn't have fresh paint everywhere on the truck that the guy has to be worried about. So Ben can actually work this thing without, you know, fear in the back of his head of getting a door ding or a scratch or something like that. But, you know, it still looks good in the meantime. It's got that, you know, patina look that's all the craze that's uh, been following these trucks around for the last, you know, five, six, seven years. And this truck's got it. It's got the look. It, it, it definitely has got it. Ben's got some of his great products on this truck. You guys just saw there in a couple of videos past that uh, behind bumper winch mount setup. Um, we also didn't really get a good shot of it there, but Ben's aluminum fabricated grill. So if you guys haven't checked out Engineered Vintage, you need to. Ben sells a lot of cool products for these trucks and for other year Chevy trucks and Ford trucks as well. Um, so I'm seeing some shots here of those utility side pack fenders. They're super cool, super unique. Ben's pretty frequent at some of these West Coast shows and whatnot, so you guys will very likely see this thing out there someday. And He plans on driving it and using it and all that good stuff, so uh, there's no mistaking it when you see it. This is Beer Bottle Bronze 1972 K30 built at Gold City Trucks.